Hi, welcome to the tasting room here at the Fairmont Royal York Hotel, and I'm Robert, the executive chef. So here we are looking at a turkey. The one I have here right now is organic, free-range turkey, sitting in at around about 22 pounds. But when you're purchasing a turkey, you're gonna ask yourself, wow, is bigger better? I'm gonna say not. When we're looking at turkey, we really wanna look at the amount of people we're serving. So you're looking at around about a pound and a half per person of uncooked turkey. So when we get to that, what I like to do is when I'm heading up to a greater number of people, I tend to go with a couple of smaller size turkey, coming in around about eight pounds each. You can still get them in the oven, still side by side, and then when it goes to presentation and working on it, so much better. By choosing a smaller bird, uh, when we're looking at that eight to nine pounds, we all will come out with a bird that is a little bit more moist than a larger bird like this. Because of the time in the oven, it's less, and it also encapsulates that moisture a lot better than a larger bird. Today I'm using a Victoria Knox knife. Uh, this one I've had for over 22 years. It's part of my family tradition to be carving a turkey. A couple of different ways to slice a turkey. You can slice the traditional way, which you've got it all on the bone here, and you're literally standing at the front of the table and carving it for people. Remember those key things when it's slicing any type of meat, is cutting against the grain. So as here, we've got the breast through here, and I'm cutting through nice, nice slicks through here, and I'm gonna take those off. This is okay. It's not my best way. What I like to do is treat it more like I'm dealing with a chicken. And with that, I'm gonna just be taking all of the parts off the turkey. So really here, I've started my line here, and where I'm really getting in, knowing where the breastbone is through here, so I've hit one side of it. So I've got that marking point there. Next stage is I come through here, and I start to take off the leg. So as we're moving through this, I'm going to be actually using my hands. As we know, we've cooked this to 175 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we've rested it. So it's hot, but it's not bakingly hot because you've allowed it to rest for those 20, 30 minutes. So there's going to be steam coming out of there. Don't be too afraid. Just to, We're just going to take off the leg like this. I'm going to keep this to the side for now, and then we're going to move on to the breast. And it's the same thing as if what we're talking about when we're dealing with a whole chicken. So we're just going to bring that off. There's a little bit of tearing as we come through, and you can see it's just perfectly coming off like this. And then we're just going to leave this here. So as we said, we've taken off the breast off here. We've got it down here. We'll get the other one off next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right against the grain here, and we just slice. The reason why I'm doing this, you can imagine, it's so much easier, safer too, to make sure that we have perfectly cut turkey. So my favourite part here is the leg. This here reminds me in New Zealand, reminds me of a leg of lamb. So I'm just going to leave that one here, probably like a lamb shank all braised in there. Sometimes that's what I prefer to eat myself. But we're going to go here for the rest of the dark meat. I'm going to slice this all up through here. Same thing again. As we go through it, we're not going to hit any bones through here. And I'm going to get that ready to go into here. When we're talking about stuffings, I prefer to actually do the stuffing secondary from the bird. Uh, for me, that cuts back on the cooking time and also allows me to play around with different ingredients inside the cavity back here. So for example, in this particular bird, I actually roasted a whole orange in there. And you say, why did I roast a whole orange? When we're talking about bringing moisture back to your turkey, is what I do is take this here. We've got some lovely rosemary that was in this side as well. We've got this through here beautifully roasted orange here, and I'm going to take those juices and just squeeze them right over the top there. Also adding to this is the Fairmont Royal York Honey. 500 pounds produced this year. Of course, I'm going to put it on all of the stuff we have here. Works perfectly with the orange and follows up nicely with those folk prong files. Even better is using the honeycomb that we pulled out of the hives this weekend, so just drizzling a tiny bit on top of that as well. Thank you for joining me in the Chef's Tasting Room where we looked at different ways of cutting up a turkey. The great thing about this is I have a fabulous team here at the Fairmont Royal that'd love to bring this for you to take home. So with that, we have our Turkey To Go program, which we will bring all of this for you. Wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving and a safe holiday.